Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the MA5B. The MA5B is a standard issue automatic rifle utilized widely by the United Nations Space Command particularly the UNSC Marine Corps and is made by Mizrahi Armory. The MA5B is also gas operated and is chambered in 7.62 x 51mm cartridge, most often used with standard M118 FMJ AP ammo, though can also be employed with shredder and hollow point rounds as well. In 2531, the Marines on the UNSC Spirit of Fire made use of the MA5B on Harvest, Arcadia, and Etran Harborage while members of Blue Team deployed it on their mission to the decommissioned platform 966A that same year, and again during the Battle of Jericho 7 in 2535. John 117 and the Marines of the UNSC Pillar of Autumn utilized the MA-5B throughout the Battle of Installation 04 and the in, in the ensuing skirmish over Threshold. Spartan personnel during the Onyx conflict also made use of the MA-5B as well. Moving on to features, the MA-5B's barrel lacks any form of muzzle device, but can be adapted for use with suppressors to combat this conspicuous report of the weapon's firing, making it especially suitable for stealth fighting. Spartan 2's made use of this attribute during the Battle of Sigma Octonus IV. The most notable characteristic of the MA-5B's architecture is the accentuated shroud on top of the barrel, which houses the weapon's integrated computer and display. The magazine, which feeds the rifle, is inserted behind the thumb hole pistol grip in the bullpup configuration. The charging handle is on the left side of the weapon's body, and the ejection port is situated on the right side. The weapon's foregrip hosts a flashlight bearing a prominent green button on both sides. The finish of the weapon is a dull gray with a darker gray color on the foregrip, pistol grip, and stock. As standard, the weapon and its cowling has no optical device or iron sight, leaving the only evident means by which the weapon is aimed to be via HUD-based targeting reticle, such as that of the Mjolnir Mark V. The MA-5B holds 60 rounds in the magazine, plus 600 extra spare rounds. The fire rate I got was around 900 rounds per minute. The reload speed I got was around 2.27 seconds. The max effective range is around 38 meters. The damage output is 7 shots to break shields and 9 shots to health for 16 shot kill. And the TTK of this gun is about 1 second.
And that's pretty much it on the CE Assault Rifle. Overall, while you are going to be using your pistol for the most part as your primary weapon, the AR has its own niches as well. Basically, if you want to use this thing, you kind of have to be in shotgun range. As you saw in the accuracy test, basically within 12 meters, it's pretty good. As soon as you get out of 12 meters, you're already kind of stretching its range. And the pistol is going to kill you before you can get a kill with the assault rifle. I'm also aware of its other capabilities such as the quick camo tech and the double melee glitch, which is very useful on the assault rifle in particular. Like I said, basically you want to be like point blank range with this thing. So if you know someone's coming around the corner, go ahead and close in the distance with the assault rifle and chances are you're going to beat them more often than not even if they have the pistol. The only two things I would change about the CE assault rifle is that I'd make it a 15 shot kill instead of 16 shots, so a one shot difference. And I'd probably decrease its range from 38 meters to 12 meters, that way it's more accurate for the player. Because as you saw in the accuracy test, 38 meters as, as its max effective range is bullshit. Alright, that's pretty much all I gotta say on this weapon. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like, share this video around, subscribe for more, and until next time, peace.